Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Starting off right outside the Paphos main police station. And of course, next door to that is the fire station. And we're heading into central Paphos. And then we're going to work our way down towards the Keda Paphos harbour area. What was Mr. Paul doing at the police station? That's what you're wondering, isn't it? Well, I just popped in to see Michael Barry, who just happens to be the greatest policeman in the world. We had a nice, well, I had a nice hot latte and he had a nice chilled frappe. Uh-oh, I think I was lucky there. Just went through on amber, he's just come through on red. But there we go, what can you say? This is downtown Central Pat Force. And uh, well, as we understand, the policemen like to sit around and uh, talk and chat and smoke a Romeo and Juliet. Of course, that's a cigar if you're new to the channel. And of course, have a nice frappe or two. But anyway, those were traffic control traffic lights there. So there's cameras up and they take pictures of you if you're naughty. But it appeared that the cameras were not functioning because it certainly didn't flash at me. And I think I went over the line just after it went to Amber, but I'm not quite sure. But certainly the taxi that pulled in front of me was coming through on red there's no question about it so anyway luckily they didn't flash so luckily I haven't got an infringement on my credit card I haven't got a fine that's what we like to see but if you do like what you see hit the like click that subscribe don't forget to keep coming back for that little bit more of our complete and utter madness and of course in particular Mr Paul's as he takes you on his little adventures his travels in and around Paphos and of course if there's somewhere that you'd like me to go you drop it in the comments and you never know that video may be coming very very soon indeed especially for you now if you want to keep us lubricated if you want to keep the channel afloat why not go and hunt us down on the buy me a coffee platform it's totally safe and it's totally secure if you google these magic words buy me a coffee marika and me up will come our landing page and of course you can choose to read a little bit more about us you can actually read one or two of the comments if you'd like and then perhaps gift us a virtual coffee or two or three or four or five like some of our superstars like to do i think the maximum so far has been 10 coffees by an absolute superstar in downtown wiltshire and there was any chance to him last night on whatsapp What's his name? Well, that's our Sir Richard. And of course, his blonde beauty, Lady Julie Nash. And of course, they got a son, and he's one of our superstars. That is our Viscount Leo. They were in Paphos not that long ago, staying in a luxury five-star villa in Sea Caves. So if you want to see that villa, go and search for it on the YouTube search bar. Marika and me, rental villas in Sea Caves, and I'm pretty sure that video will come up. These brakes are a bit squeaky, aren't they? What car is Mr. Paul in today? Drop it in the comments. wonder if you can work it out from that sloping bonnet. I'll bet you that Sir Mart is rapidly, frantically Googling it and getting pictures up just to check. He doesn't want to make a mistake. It's not a Volkswagen, but that's for sure. And of course, the girl in his life, that's our Lady Andrea, is frantically keeping all these lights on to go. See, there's the little green arrow that lets us head down the main street from the old town. This is Kennedy Square area. Where we are now and we're now going to slowly work our way down through lower central Paphos and down towards the Tomb of the Kings area, Universal Tomb of the Kings area to give you some familiar names and the Paphos Mall will be there, there'll be a roundabout, we'll go straight over that under the Paphos Skywalk and head down to Paradise which of course is the downtown Cato Paphos promenade and hub area. Big shout out to some guys that like to watch the show. A big, big goodbye to Sir Mark of the Peacocks. He's gone back to the UK with his wife and his mum and his two daughters, but rumour has it he'll be back in Paphos before the year ends, and let's hope so. And let's hope this time we get to sit down and have coffee or two. Now, there is a couple of gentlemen who like to get their daily fix, and it appears now that there is a lady who likes to get her fix as well. Who am I talking about? Sir Daniel. My goodness, that was a bit of a, a caracas in the road, wasn't it? Big morning to, big morning, big, big good morning. Top of the morning to Sir Daniel Mahoney. And of course his girl, Lady Sherry, who's always, always right. And a big shout out to Sir Brian, the man who is a very clever man indeed. He doesn't have just one Yaris, no, he's got two. And a big shout out to the girl in his life, 
Lady Sonia. We'll see you very, very soon when you get on that big wood and jet into downtown Kid of Patmos. Now, there's another girl on the channel who's got a brand new Yaris, so it was one of these hybrid ones, wasn't it? And uh, it's bought for her by a man with a similar name to me. That's Mr. Paul. I spotted you. There we are, you see? You've got to have eyes coming out the side of here. Come on, you're, how much road do you want in this little van? Goodness, I tell you, driving in, in Cyprus is absolutely terrible. And all they ever think about is me, 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 and me. Anyway, rant over, Lord Handy, who's in downtown Scotland with Lady Ness. And of course, their nests and nest next their next adventure will be in downtown Paphos and they'll be booking into the Alexander the Great Hotel and talking about that girl who likes to get her daily fix she'll be booking into the Alexander the Great Hotel as well very very soon indeed so not only does she have a title and she's the girl in charge of the show now she likes to have her daily fix on the little channel known as Marika and me. And of course that is the one and only superstar, the legend known as our day man. And of course we'll be waiting for you in Paphos Airport in but a couple of weeks there'll be a black Jaguar all clean and shiny waiting especially for you. Here we are. We've avoided all the traffic, all the vans that want much more road than they should. Uh, these lights are flicking on amber, and there's nothing there, so we're not going to stop. We're going to keep on going, and that is the Paphos Manor roundabout. Just up in the air there is the Paphos Skywalk. That's like a walkway up in the heavens. Well, okay, it's not that high, but it's about 6 metres, 7 metres, so what, 12 foot off the ground, 15 foot. So please don't fall off it, because it's going to hurt if you do. But it gives you a different view of downtown Cater Paphos, and of course you can look up into the highlands of uptown Paphos. And uh, it's free, so why not go and do it while you are in Paphos? And it's but a short walk, literally, what, five to ten minutes from the Central Harbour area. And, of course, if you come this far, you may as well pop in the mall. If you come that far, you may as well keep on going up into the old town and have a look around and see what's going on. Like Lady Allison and Lady Enid, they went up and they said they had a great, great time indeed. Now, you might notice a girl... On a scooter here whizzing along, that's Maria. She's obviously going to work, or perhaps she's been to the mall to get some sandwiches for lunch. Who knows? But anyway, downtown Cato Pathos, that's where we are. This road is famous for what's it famous for? Property sellers. There are more estate agents, property sellers, as we call them in Cyprus, than anywhere else on this particular road so perhaps if you are looking for that perfect apartment or that perfect villa this could be that street for you while you're on your way down to the harbour to cast your eyes out into the blueness of the blue 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 mediterranean sea because we all understand that there are one or two things that are always sure in Paphos. the sky i'm pretty sure you can see is pretty blue the sea is going to come into view very very soon indeed and I assure you that it is very, very blue. Mr. Paul, you've guessed it, he's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing, all that is missing is you. So why not get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because Papa, Cyprus, Marika and me, oh yeah, we're waiting especially for you. Here we are, downtown Cato Paphos, promenade and harbour area. I'm sure somebody wants to get run over today, but I'm quite polite in a car, so I like to let people go. And you never know, there could be family members, there could be subscribers to the channel, and uh, you know, you should always be polite and courteous when you're driving around, especially in downtown Paphos, because you know there's people of all different nationalities. I'm chewing my English today, nationalities. It's hanging out too much with Masachi and Kusibi out of boot, doesn't it? Who likes to get a tongue around the odd word or two. Shall we go to the rear of the restaurants? Do you want a great view? Yeah, go on then. So this is the main entrance to the harbour. One or two people wandering around, delivery vans as we can see, because the harbour is getting ready to boot up, especially for you. And there's some great restaurants in there. I know we keep saying it over and over, but there is. There's some hard working staff. The views are to die for. The food is fabulous. They're open now to roughly around 11 o'clock at night because almost the summer season is upon us. And almost all of you will be coming to Paphos very, very soon indeed. 
This is the rear of the Harbour restaurants. Again, there's another big car park here, which is free of charge. And at night time, this is all lit up because there's these brand new lantern lighting posts and there's cameras and all those kind of things. So don't worry, if you're walking around the back, you will be totally safe. The only person likely to muck you is Miss Oching who will see me out of the booth if you've got a big fat wad in your pocket. Perhaps if your name is Sir Neil or Lord Nigel of the Big Guns who's coming at Paphos very, very soon indeed. And of course, if he's coming, that must mean the girl that likes that memory foam pillow is coming and she pulls a tot or two. And of course, that is our lady. Oh, 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 oh. So, 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 so sweet. Caroline. Feast your eyes and digest. That is the view from the brand new Paphos Sunset viewing point and of course from the Paphos Castle. We are right at the pinnacle of the harbour area and this is where the coastal path from the harbour all the way out to the Cathalias Beach Tourist Resort. Cathalias Beach, Faros Beach, Lighthouse Beach, a lot of confusion with its name but basically there's a lot of beaches out there so if you want to see some of those beaches well all you got to do is check us out on the search bar in YouTube Google those magic words Marie Crumi, Faros Beach, Lighthouse Beach etc etc and I'm pretty sure that one of our little monkeying around videos will come up especially for you a lot of people wandering around, a lot of people looking very, very white indeed. So that must mean that they've only just arrived. And of course, they understand that they're going to get a spectacularity of a holiday indeed. There's no doubt about it. This gentleman had a quick look in the side window to see what I was doing. And the, I think he's wondering, what is this guy doing here? No. Well, I'm parked up illegally looking out into the blueness of the blue, 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 blue. Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to say thanks for watching and of course if you do like what you see please hit that like. Hit that subscribe doesn't cost you a single penny and want to go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform and perhaps gift us that coffee or two. Perhaps join us as a superstar member like the girl who likes a bit of brightness in her life. Lady Whitney Sir Jason we thank you for being superstar members and we're looking forward to seeing you in June. Not that far to go. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.